Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Microsoft Slim Pen 2 and in this video I am going to talk about top 18 tips and tricks for using this pen. So guys the first tip is using the snipping tool. So I open the Microsoft Bing and here I search uh, some image. So I want a specific part of this image. So what I can do, I can just press this back button only one time like that like this and then it will open the snipping tool now i can select any part of my screen for example i want to take picture of this part only so i can just select it like this okay so now i just select it it will appear in the snipping tool i can just open it in the snipping tool and then i can do all my editing over here so for example if i want to write something okay and then if i want to use the highlighter option if i want to crop this image i can do it as well the second thing is if you want to share it you can also use the share option so you can share it with anyone you can save it in your microsoft surface the next tip is using this back button and press it two times to open the microsoft OneNote, and here you can make all your notes if i press and hold this back button i just press and hold it like this it will open the microsoft whiteboard where you can create different templates and you can share it with other people as well so how to enable uh, this shortcut button and how you can customize it so first of all you have to st select this start menu okay and then from here you can go to settings once you enter into the settings you will see this option of bluetooth and devices once you enter into the bluetooth and devices you have to scroll down and you see this option of pen and windows ink so you just select it once you select it here you will see this option of choose what your shortcut button does okay so here you can see there is an arrow just select it once you select it here you can see you have different options for example for single click i select the screen snipping so you can change it as well so if you just select this arrow so here you have different options you can open any other app you can open one note pen menu you can open sticky notes so all the other options you can do so same thing you can do with a double click option so if you select this double click it open the one note if you want to change it you just select this arrow and here you can change all the settings the next thing is you can also change the press and hold option so currently i select the microsoft whiteboard but you can change this as well the next step is again related to this back button so you can use it as eraser as well so for example i open note and if i want to erase something so i can just use this back and then i can erase anything whatever i write okay so if i write something okay and i want to erase i can just use this back side and i can erase it as well the next step is about this side button okay so you can use it for selection and for highlighting as well so for example i open the microsoft journal and here i have some handwriting now what i can do is i can just press this pen button and then i select it i just uh, tap it like this so you can see it select all this handwriting if i press it again and i double tap it will select this part as well so i press it double tap so you can see it select the whole handwriting and then if you want you can copy it you can copy this handwriting as text so for example i select copy as text okay now here i just select it like this and i paste it so here you can see it convert my handwriting into the text the next step is about pressure sensitivity so you can change the pressure sensitivity of slim pen 2 what you have to do select this start menu and then go into the surface okay so here is the surface just select it once you select it here it will show you two options surface uh, pro whatever surface pro you have and then it is also showing you the surface slim pen 2 so i just select it okay so once you select it here it will show you all the other options in the slim pen 2 so now here you see this option of pen pressure just select it once you select it here you can see you can change the pen pressure from here okay and if you want to test it you can test from here okay so if you want to check so you can see this is how it looks like so whatever pressure you put it will show you according to it okay so if i reduce it 
so i reduce this pen pressure so here you can see this is how it looks like you can also check for pencil as well so this is for pencil you can increase it so here you can see this is how it looks like the next thing is if you scroll down more and select this advanced option it will also show you in the graph form so whatever uh, uh, sensitivity you have it will change the graph according to it so here you can see i am changing it and it also changing the graph for me as well okay so here you can see and if you want to reset it uh, to the default uh, pen pressure sensitivity just select it it will bring it into the middle and it will show you in the graph form as well the next step is using your slim pen tool to search anything on microsoft bing so i will open the microsoft bing and here if i tap on this search bar you will see the keyboard will open but you want to use your slim pen tool so you have to just select this settings icon and select this handwriting option from here so just select it once you select it here you see it will open a window where you can write anything and it will search it for you for example i write here brain anatomy okay so you see it convert it into the text and it is also showing me over here so then just select the search option and it will open the results for you in the microsoft bing the next step is about tactile signal option so guys whenever you try to write anything with your slim pen tool you will feel a kind of vibration in your fingers okay so you can increase or decrease this vibration so basically this vibration will give you paper like feeling okay so you can increase or decrease it just go to the start menu and then select this settings icon and then in the settings you will see this option of bluetooth and devices just select it once you select it just uh, scroll down and you will see this option of pen and windows ink just select it once you select it here you will see this option of tactile signal so if it is disabled you can enable it and you can select this arrow from here so here you can see it is showing you a bar so you can increase or decrease its intensity okay so you can see so if it is full and then you try to write anything you will feel kind of vibration in your fingers okay if you don't want to uh, use this option you can uh, disable it or you can reduce its intensity as well the next step is about ink to shape tool option so if you open the microsoft one note you can use your slim pen tool to draw any kind of shape and it will convert it into a neat shape so you just have to select this ink to shape option okay and then after it whatever you draw it will convert it into a neat shape okay so here you can see whatever i draw it will convert it into a neat shape the next step is about how to check the battery percentage for slim pen 2 so what you can do is just select this start menu and then go to the surface okay so here is the surface option so just select it once you select this surface here you can see at the bottom you, it is showing you the surface slim pen 2 if you just select it it will show you the battery percentage over here so currently it is 75 percent charged okay it is also showing you here at the bottom the next step is about how to set up your slim pen 2 okay so just go to the start menu and then select this surface okay so once you select uh, this surface here you can see at the bottom it is showing you the surface slim pen 2 just select it once you select it here you can see this option of set up your surface pen so i will select it okay once you select it here it will open a new window and here it will show you all the steps how you can set up your uh, slim pen 2 okay so here it will also show you if you want to use your right hand or left hand so for example i am using right hand so i just select this right hand then it will take you to the next option and it will show you all the different tips that you can use your slim pen 2 with the next step is about find my device preview so if you want to see uh, your slim pen 2 uh, location so what you can do is just select this start menu select the surface okay once you select the surface here you can see at the bottom slim pen 2 option available just select it once you select it here you will see find my device preview option so once you select it 
it will open you the map and here it will show you the location for your slim pen 2 the next step is using your slim pen 2 with microsoft office apps okay so i will open the powerpoint so here is my powerpoint presentation you can see over here now what i can do i select this present option and now i can use this slim pen 2 as a laser pointer so if i want to highlight something during my presentation i can use this uh, slim pen 2 okay so you can see over here okay so i can use this as laser pointer i can also use it as pen if i want to write something during my presentation the next thing is you can also use it in microsoft excel okay so for example here if you want to draw something if you want to write something you can also write here with your slim pen 2 okay and then you also have the option of highlighter you can use the highlighter or if you want to erase you can erase it as well the next step is how to charge your slim pen 2 so guys you can buy this microsoft surface slim pen charger okay so you can see over here it is compatible with slim pen and slim pen 2 okay so this is how it looks like okay so here is the charger so you can just put it like this it will attach to it magnetically and then at the back side you can use the type c cable to charge it okay so here you can see so this is how it looks like if you want to attach this slim pen 2 to your microsoft surface okay so i have this microsoft surface pro 9 okay so if i want to attach it i can just attach it like this at the bottom okay so you can see over here so it will attach magnetically so this is how it looks like once you attach it the next step is about additional settings okay so you have to go to the start menu then select the settings option okay and then select this bluetooth and devices and then you will see this option of pen and windows ink just select it once you select it here you see this option of additional pen settings you just select this arrow so here you have more options available so if you want to show visual effect show cursor and if you don't want to show it it will uh, not show you the cursor so like this it will not showing the cursor then we have the other option like use my pen as a mouse ignore touch and display additional keys passed when using my pen so if you want you can enable these settings as well the next step is about how to use your slim pen 2 if you want more information just go to the start menu and then select the settings icon and then select this bluetooth and devices and then go down and select this pen and windows ink so once you select it here if you scroll down okay here you will see this option of tips about pen just select it once you select it here it will show you all the tips how you can use your slim pen okay so if i just maximize it so here you can see you can pin apps to your pin menu if you just select this next option it will show you more options okay about the screenshot uh, hand how to change hand how to change your pen buttons okay so here you can see write to enter text so all the information available over here the next step is how to change your pen battery so just go to the start menu again select this settings icon then go to bluetooth and devices and from here you select this pen and windows ink so once you select it here at the bottom if you scroll you will see this option of changing my pen's battery just select it once you select it here it will show you the video from the microsoft uh, that how you can change your pen batteries for your slim pen 2 so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much